Good morning everyone. Welcome to grade 3 mathematics class. How are you all doing today? So today let's learn word problems involving fractions. Let's see an example. Sonal bought 11 candies. Out of these candies, she gave 5 to her friend Bhavna. What fraction of the candies was there with Bhavna? Also, find the fraction of candies left with Sonal. So, what is mentioned in the question? Sonal bought a total of 11 candies and she gave 5 out of these 11 candies to her friend Bhavna. In the question, you are asked to find out what fraction of candies does Bhavana have now? So she got 5 candies from Sonal. You have to find out the fraction of candies that Bhavana has with her now. And also you are asked to find out what fraction of the candies is now left with Sonal after giving these 5 candies to Bhavana. So from the data given in the question, let's see the steps. So the number of candies, the total number of candies that Sonal bought is equal to 11 candies from the question. So that we have written here. Number of candies given to Bhavana that also from the question it is 5. Now what is the fraction of candies with Bhavana? The fraction of candies with Bhavana will be equal to the number of candies she got by the total number of candies, right? So that would be equal to the number of candies is 5 by the total number of candies 11. So the fraction of candies that Bhavana has with her is 5 by 11 of the candies. Now after giving these 5 to Bhavana, Sonal is now left with how many candies? Number of candies left with Sonal is equal to 11 minus 5 given to Bhavana and that is equal to 6. Now Sonal has 6 candies with her. Now fraction of candies left with Sonal that is equal to the number of candies left with Sonal by the total number of candies she bought. So that is equal to 6 by 11. So I hope this is clear to you. Now let's see a question from exercise 6.3. The first question in page number 91. Adar had 3 bananas. He ate one banana and gave remaining two bananas to a monkey. What fraction of the bananas did he give to the monkey? So how many bananas did he have? He had three bananas with him and he ate one out of three. So one by three banana he ate and he gave the rest two bananas to a monkey. So what is the fraction of bananas given to the monkey? Let's see the steps. The total number of bananas is equal to 3. The number of bananas given to monkey is equal to 2. The fraction of bananas given to monkey is equal to the number of bananas given to monkey by the total number of bananas that he had. And that is equal to 2 by 3. Clear? Now, let's see one more question from the same exercise. Ahmed has 10 pencils, 3 red, 5 green and the rest yellow. What fraction of the pencils are yellow? So from the question, Ahmed had a total of 10 pencils with him and out of these 10 pencils, 3 were red, 5 were green and the rest were yellow. So what is the fraction of the yellow pencils that he had? That we have to find out and that is what is asked in the question. So let's write the steps. The total number of pencils is equal to 10. The number of red pencils is equal to 3. And the number of green pencils is equal to 5. Then what would be the number of yellow pencils? The number of yellow pencils will be equal to the total number of pencils minus the number of red pencils and the number of green pencils. The number of yellow pencils will be equal to the total number of pencils minus the sum of the number of red pencils and the number of green pencils. So together the red, number of red pencils and the number of green pencils is equal to 3 plus 5 which is equal to 8. And we have a total of 10 pencils. So the number of yellow pencils is equal to 10 minus the 3 plus 5 which is equal to 10 minus 8. And that is equal to 2 pencils. So Ahmed had 
two yellow pencils with him. And what is the fraction of these yellow pencils? The fraction of the yellow pencils will be the number of yellow pencils by the total number of pencils. And that is equal to 2 by 10, where 2 is the number of yellow pencils and 10 is the total number of pencils he has. Clear? Now, you can go through the topic word problem involving fractions in page number 91 of your textbook. Go through the topic once again and then move on to exercise 6.3. A few more questions are there for you to complete. You have to complete the questions, question number 2, 4 and 5 and also in page number 92 you can see the headings VE, Enrich Yourself, HOTS and My Project. You have to go through these questions as well and do accordingly. So that's all for today children. We'll meet in the next class with a new topic. Until then, bye.